If you follow popular creators like Johnny Harris, Vox, then you have seen this kind of 3D map animation several times. It really helps in storytelling and visual communication. The technique behind to make this kind of animation is its own 3 dimension layer and its own parameters like rotation, scaling, position. And just by using this, you can achieve this kind of result. And that's exactly what I'm going to create in today's video. So without making further delay, let's bring our today's video how to make this 3D map animation. Alright, after making the composite shot, you first drag your 2D map image. As you can see, it is a complete transparent image and that's why I'm going to use a background behind this image. After that, you add the country names in their proper place. Now the most interesting part, first of all you create a new composite shot and drag your previous composite shot to this new one. And you can see it is properly placed. You can turn this layer now in 3 dimension and as you can see with results my camera is activated. Now it's time for animation. The first step, you first bring your playhead to its first position and activate all the keyframes like position, scaling, rotation, orientation and all. Why? Because from the first frame, my animation will start and later on you never know which parameter you may have to manipulate. So you activate your first keyframes at the very beginning with all the parameters. Now you move your playhead to the end position and manipulate your map according to your choice. And since my layer is already 3 dimension and my first keyframes are already activated, so you no need to worry about that. Once you start to manipulate at the end, my new keyframes will be automatically activated. One more thing to remember, during the time of adjustment, make sure your entire map is within your video frame, which means your entire map should be completely fitted within a frame, so you adjust accordingly. And now if you play this from the beginning, you can see this nice, smooth, 3 dimension map animation. Now here I'm going to add one more interesting element. Since my entire map is now 3 dimension, so I'm going to add one more depth, that is the shadow property. So first of all, you go back to your previous composite shot and you can see in my previous composite shot, my background is there, my map is there and all the text layers. So in my map layer, I'm going to add one drop shadow property. So you go to the effect and search drop shadow. And you drag this property and paste in a map image. And you can see my shadow is activated, which brings a little bit of depth. And similarly, I'm going to copy this drop shadow effect and paste all the text layers. Remember, your background should be always as it is. You don't apply any drop shadow here at the background. Now if you go to my final 3D composite shot, it comes up with the drop shadow effect, which looks a little bit of depth and 3D behavior. Well, it's completely optional, you may use it or you may not use it. So this is just one variation or you can take it as a foundation of this 3D map animation. Now using the same principle, using the same technique, you can make a further variation. For example, look at this map. Here my animation will start from the beginning and later on it focuses only one particular region with this red color effect. Maybe it's a symbol of danger or something wrong happening in there. Now to achieve this, I have used the property of light. Because if you go to my composite shot, you can see here, up to this much, everything is same as like my previous example. But here I'm going to add one light. And you position properly with the Z value. And you start playing with the keyframe. And which reels at the end, you can see my all other regions are dark. And it's focusing only at one particular region. That's the interesting part. Now another interesting part is how I turn this region red. It's very simple. I've used the property of the color of the light. You can see here, in a light property there's a color. So by default it is set as white. So you first activate the keyframe. So at the first frame you keep it white and activate the first keyframe. And later on you turn it as a red. You can see here all my RGB values are 255, 255. So if I make blue and green color zero, and keeping the red color active so it becomes completely red. After doing this, you can see this nice transition from white to red. 
well i have demonstrated here only two examples later on you can make a different different variation different different examples drop me your comments and let me know how you found this video smash the like button leave your comments and share it and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and i will see you in the next video